Hello, it's Drug Lines, and in this video we're going to review how you can um, add your own hotkeys in site without using auto hotkey, um, because I use auto hotkey, which I, I could add in there, but um, maybe you don't. So in here, what you want to do is go to Options to open up your user properties file, and what you'll want to do is, um, now I've, I've added some comments in here, but you can, you need to, sorry, I'm doing something else. Um, what you want to do is is add this text to user properties file and after you've done that you can follow this type of thing so here control shift right this is going to be the hotkey that you use and then the pluses mean and so when i hit control and shift and the right mouse arrow um, it's going to run this and so if i hit control, hold down control and shift to hit my right key notice how i'm suddenly down here and i can type what I want, and then I can hit Control Shift Left and be right back up here. Uh, now let me undo that. So that is a quick easy way. Now Control Alt C, I have made as a hotkey, so I can hold down Control and Alt and hit C. And now when I go into something, I can just hit Paste, and that keeps the RTF format, which is very convenient. I wish that was the default, um, and I I I've played with changing that to be the default if I hit control C but um, something was wrong with it I haven't figured it out yet um, I've also made it where control page up oh I don't have more than one let me see so control page up so I can hold down control page up and page down and toggle between my tabs right because I use that also in in um, my SQL syntax writer and a couple other things so I can keep consistent hotkeys doing the same things across programs um, I have hotkeys, so Control Shift U would open my user properties, um, and Control Shift G opens my global properties. Oops. And this is all again. This is done without using Auto Hotkey, right? So regardless whether you have it or not, I've also changed where F3 will run the find, and F4 will do the find next. And actually, a uh, Control Shift D. Um, I don't recall what that actually. Um, 1142. Now let's see if we can, because here's a good example. Let's go to this URL um, because this is where you can find additional um, commands. And so let me go back to here. We'll take a screenshot of this. And now let's go back to here. Um, and here you can see these right here, IDM switch pane. And so that's where IDM, boy, you know, I don't know if they're. Uh, they sure don't look alphabetically sorted, do they? Switch pane. Okay, and then so this is this is where I grab this from. So there are a lot of other commands that you can find there, um, and then there are these key commands. And so I think in here what was it 11:42? You would think those would be. So it doesn't do there. Control Shift D. Control Shift. Now, what I'm wondering is if I actually have defined, because I can, let me see if I can find control 1142 somewhere in mine. Ah, okay. So I had written in, I had defined an 1142 myself. Um, and so, whoops. Oh, actually, that is correct. I, I think I want that to stay commented out. Um, however, now these, apparently... Control Shift D is going to run this search on Stack Overflow. Um, let me see. I don't know if it's going to work right now. Um, we'll search for AHK. Oh, I I have my hot keys on. Um, so Control Shift D, and that brought up something. It has, unfortunately, that's a hot key within Camtasia, which is what I'm using to record this. So I can't actually demonstrate that easily. Um, and of course I won't know how to get out of that. But anyway, you get the idea that, um, man, how do I, alright, hold on. Okay, so what I had to do was I, I, um, switched the hotkey to now to use Control shift g um, here, and I commented out this one just so I knew it was free. Uh, but this 1142, and down here, again, 
or to 11.42, I've told it, hey, do this Google um, search Stack Overflow on whatever's highlighted, right? So now if I come in here and I say Auto Hotkey and I hit Control Shift G, that's what's highlighted, it is going to try to run, and, and I just don't have a default browser right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it'll do a um, search on Stack Overflow for what was highlighted, which was Auto Hotkey, right? And that is what I had defined in here. So um, this is the name I've given it, and then here it's going to say, hey, run this URL, um, and then append the current selection. Uh, but anyway, so this 11.42 I defined, and up here I have associated it to this hotkey, and that's how it, it got into my, um, I'm sorry, my hotkeys, right? Um, and that's it. Easy way to add, and of course you can you can create whatever you want, right? This is awesome, because you can basically build your own hotkeys with Insight, um, or you can just pick and choose from... Um, that long list of the different things that are available on this page. So if we come back in here, there's a lot of different things that you can choose from um, and just build hotkeys that automatically do whatever you want to do. And that's it. Thanks.